hello hi today i am going to handle model number 4 that is dynamic programming in under this dynamic programming we will we have to study the concept of multi stage graph and warshall's algorithm lights algorithm and optimal binary search trees knapsack problem bellman ford algorithm and traveling sales person problem so what is the meaning of dynamic programming see dynamic programming it is a technique and it was invented by richard bellman okay one thing you have to understand what do you mean what is the meaning of programming it is the word programming has no particular connection to a computer program means it is not programming uh, it is the process of obtaining a plan to get the optimal solution so that's what we can say programming for example i can give one more exa example traffic based problem i am telling about this optimal solution traffic based problem means suppose a person a person wants to travel from this place to this place okay via two more places if this person travels from in this direction it takes a time 20 minutes assume okay and if same person can travel through this poor road it will take 15 minutes so which one is less time of course through this road so this is called we can say optimal solution okay next <coughs> we'll see the definition of dynamic programming dynamic programming means it is a designing technique for solving problems with overlapping sub problems every problem we have to solve using some techniques so among those techniques we are going to learn this dynamic programming what it does it divides the problem into sub problems for example this one is a problem this we can divide particular sub problems okay and this sub problems can also divide it more sub problems okay like this here what will happen solution to this problem will get from this sub problem solution for this sub problem will get from this finally we will get uh, what optimal solution for the actual problem okay see 
what will happen here the word overlapping sub problems overlapping sub problems means sub problems may come repeatedly but we cannot calculate repeatedly okay it it solve only once means calculate only once and record into the result record the result in a table from which we can obtain the solution to the actual problem for example see this this is this example i am going to take that is generating Fibonacci series here Fibonacci series means what <coughs> adding previous two values will get the Fibonacci series initially I am going to take 0 and 1 these are initial values so 0 plus 1 how much 1 I am going to write here 1 now to calculate this series again we have to add previous two values that is 1 plus 1 how much 2 we have to write here again to calculate the next series consider these two previous values that is 1 plus 2 how much 3 this in this fashion we are going to generate Fibonacci series how this example is related to dynamic programming now let's see this is function okay in this function we are going to pass some parameter that is i value okay here i value is what zero now 0 I am going to write pbub 0 so this pbub 0 now in this we pass this argument in this parameter so int n becomes what 0 now n value is what 0 so if n equal to 0 or n equal to 1 returns the n now I am here n value is 0 so answer is what zero so pbop zero is how much zero that's i'm going to write here pbop zero is equal to zero now increase increase the i value increase the i value so i value becomes what 1 so pbop i is how much 1 now pass this same technique n value is 1 so if n value is 1 it has to return n that is 1 ok answer is 1 pbop 1 is equal to how much 1 we have return now <coughs> increment the i value so i value becomes i value becomes now how much 2 so pass this check the condition both the conditions now uh, this condition is false because n value is how much 2 here now take this condition return pbop n minus 1 plus pbop n minus 2 now consider this statement here pib n minus 1 plus pib n minus 2 what will happen n value is how much 2 ok substitute this 2 in this equation 
2 minus 1 how much? 1 and 2 minus 2 is how much? 0. Now consider this p bob 0 and p bob 1. How will get these values? We have already calculated p bob 1 value and p bob 0 value. In this stage, no need to calculate again p bob 1 and p bob 0. Just substitute these values. That is p bob 1 is how much? 1. You have to write 1. P bob 0 is how much? 0. You have to write here. Now 1 plus 0 is how much? 1. That is the solution for subproblem. P bob 2 is equal to how much? 1. I am going to write. Now consider this previous example. What is showing? It is a technique for solving a problems with overlapping subproblems. Overlapping subproblems means what? These all are subproblems. These all are subproblems 0, P bob 0, P bob 1, and P bob 2. So it will be going to. Uh, move in this tree structure fashion okay like this it will going to assume in this scenario here we are going to write uh, <coughs> to write pbob 5 okay in this way we are calculating pib values okay so these are our sub problems we have to calculate only once and after it has to store in table table means it is a um, what you can say table means um, table means 1d or 2d array as a table in the sense uh, 1d r 2d arrays okay now consider, consider solving problems with overlapping sub problems rather than solving overlapping sub problems again and again that's we have already seen this dynamic programming suggests solving each of the sub problems only once and recording the result in a table from this table we will get the <coughs> solution to the actual problem i hope uh, this you have understood okay next one is principle of optimality what is the meaning of principle of optimality see here <coughs> optimality optimality means now consider this one is a graph okay can assume this one is a graph here a person can travel from this place to this place okay this person has two routes one is either this route or this route this person if travels from from one two four five seven okay it has the it uh, time will going to take 4 plus 6 10 10 plus 2 12 10 and what what is the cost 13 he has to take 13 just a minute 
13. If same person travels from this road, what is the cost? 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 2, 10, 10 plus 1, 11. Which cost is minimum here? 11. Same place, but intermediate routes are changed. So this we can say optimality. What we can say? Optimality. So it states that optimal sequence per decisions has the property that whatever the initial state and decision are initial state and decision it may whatever and remaining decision must constitute an optimal decision sequence with regard to the state resulting from the first decision so this is called principle of optimality okay now consider graph graph means it is a non linear data structure linear data structure and non linear data structure and it is defined as set of vertices and edges graph denoted as a z is a graph uh, having vertices and edges vertices and edges what is always represents like this and edges this is edge okay so this is graph now types of graph why we have to study this graph because the next concept is multi-stage graph I, we have to so, know at least uh, types of graphs so that's why we are I am telling undirected graph undirected graph every edge is undirected means consider this one is a graph hang the vertices and undirected there is no direction there is no particular direction <coughs> is known as undirected graph undirected graph every edge is directed known as direction directed graph see here direction is available in this graph so we can call this directed graph now we understood undirected graph and directed graph okay the next concept is weighted graph well, what is the meaning of weighted graph I know you are very familiar with these graphs but uh, due to concepts I am telling weighted graph if every edge in a graph is assigned a value that is weight or cost this is a edge okay from 0 to 1 connection between 0 to 1 can call edge okay and it has some value this value is called what weight or cost okay every edge has the value can call cost or weight weight of 1 to 3 is 3 weight of edge from 1 to 4 is 1 weight of 3 to 4 is 6 so this is called what weighted graph now in degree and out degree what is the meaning of these degrees in degree means number of edges entering see 
this is a vertex 1 number of edges <coughs> entering from this vertex any edges is coming or not so no edges is coming so in degree is what 0 entering means coming or connecting to this node <coughs> or vertex so in degree is 0 now consider this node 2 see here vertex node 2 has the in degree 2 how see here this is a node in degree means entering entering this direction and another one is this direction see here entering edge is entering and here another one so in degree of this node is how much 2 ok similarly out degree number of edges leaving so this one is vertex 1 Living means connecting to another node. So this one is vertex number two. Living. This is a node one or vertex one. So connecting means edge is living here. So this is called out degree. Now see here. This is one. So in this direction, this is in degree and this one is out degree because you yeah. have to remember these concepts in multistage graph. Okay, now it's clear. I hope it's clear. The next one is multistage graphs. So multistage graph means uh, just to consider this example multi stage graph this one is a source node or source vertex and this one is destination vertex and here I am uh, um, written i and j and here these lines tells k and this one is k this one is also K. This one is also K. So, okay. what is the meaning for this? See, in multi stage, in multi stage, see graph, it should contain source node and destination node and stages. Stages representing with K. Okay. K, these are our stages and I is what Repr stage number we can call I as what stage stage number and J is what vertex name J is called what vertex name okay this is sample example for multi stage graph now we'll see <coughs> what is the meaning of multi stage graph multi stage graph g is equal to v of e is a directed weighted graph multi stage graph is what what directed graph and also weighted graph in which vertices are partitioned into k greater than or equal to 2 k is nothing but stages greater than or equal to 2 means 2 disjoint sets disjoint means no similar to vertex vertices okay the vertex S yes, is the source and D is the destination and let them 
C of I J B D cost of edge I to J cost of edge I to J later we going to discuss regarding this now now we have to find the cast of a path from a source to destination is the sum of cost of the edges on the path the multi stage graph problem is to find minimum cost path from source to destination our aim is to find the cost which cost minimum cost between the paths from where from source to destination every path from s to means source to destination starts at stage 1 and goes to stage 2 and goes to stage 3 and 4 5 and so on okay this is a regarding of multi stage graph there are two main approaches in multi stage graph one is forward approach another one is backward approach forward approach and the one is backward approach now i repeat again multi stage graph the graph directed and weighted graph okay directed and weighted graph having the cast having the cast cast i comma j i is a stage number j is the vertex number we have to calculate the path from source to destination with which cost minimum cost okay this is regarding about multi stage graph now consider this example this is a multi stage graph sample example now this <coughs> vertex 1 representing first stage so we have we are marking here like this and next stage is what here 2 3 4 5 these are our next stages marking the line this is for your reference not mandatory just for reference and next stage is what 6 5 7 and 8 these are our next stages 6 7 8 vertices are some stage in one stage the next stage is what 9 10 11 the last stage is what tell vertex here source node is 1 destination node is 12 how many stages are there count the lines 1 2 3 4 5 so which which type of graph it is multi stage graph and size uh, sorry stages of the graph is 5 how will understand k is equal to 1 2 3 4 and 5 here the stages are what total Five. Now we have to write like this. K is equal to one. K is equal to two. K is equal to three. K is equal to four, and K is equal to five. So this is considering what total. by stage graph i hope it's clear now coming to the concept multi stage graph using forward approach 
using forward approach see in forward approach remember one thing we have to calculate a path from destination to source in this direction we have to calculate now see this this is our destination and this one is our source how should we calculate the path from destination to source in this direction we have to calculate don't become confused it is a forward approach so not in this fashion it is wrong so forward approach means we have to go for in this direction okay now this is some formula using this formula we have to calculate <coughs> calculate the what path see here cost of i comma j i already written multi stage graph cost i comma z is equal to minimum of c of j comma l this one is l plus cost of i plus 1 this is not 1 this is l okay this i represents what here stage number i represents stage number and j represents vertex name okay i and j values now come to this here j already know vertex name and l stands for connected vertex connected vertex means outer degree outer degree of which vertex j vertex j vertex outer degree it's out degree j is out degree j vertex j is a vertex name this which vertex name is connected to next vertex that is the meaning i plus 1 is means what i is a stage number plus 1 means next stage number is that clear now please try to understand this consider this one is a graph here i have written some examples with the help of this formula now this is a graph here i have to modify uh, here i have to draw stages means mark the stages stage number 1 stage number 2 stage number 3 stage number 4 and stage number 5 okay please try to understand this formula write in your notebook this is an Yeah. Now I have taken some example. C up three comma four. Three represents what here? Stage number. So stage number is how much? Three. Three. I have written. Three. Four is what? Four is vertex name vertex name in third stage which vertex 4 is a vertex so i have to write 4 okay now minimum c of what is the j value j value is 4 so i have written 4 l is what connected vertex 4 is connected to which vertex 
pi vertex pore is connected to which vertex phi vertex water by how will write yellow value this one is called yellow value pore is a j value that is vertex name pore is connected to which vertex i mean out degree out degree of four is how much two one is five another one is six this is vertex six out the outer degree we have to write here pore is a i repeat pore is a vertex name pi u is pore pi u is pore is connected to phi u pore is connected to phi u means outer out degree pore is connected to phi u so i have written consider this exam this formula cost i plus 1 what is the i value here i value is 3 i value is 3 what i have written i plus 1 formula tells i plus 1 i value is how much 3 plus 1 how much 4 this 4 i am writing here 4 is it clear you are at in stage 3 but calculating the next cost Or to increase the one step, that is four. So I plus one. Then L L value is how much here? L value already written five O. Okay, this one is one value. Means this. Four vertex connected to phi u and four vertex connected to another node is there. You are not able to see. I think four is connected to phi u, so one cost I we have to calculate. Comma same vertex four is connected to six, so here also we have to write vertex four. Next node means outer degree of four is six. Six I am going to write. This is nothing but L four six. So cost is four. Cost means I plus one stage. Stage is how much three? Three plus one. Three plus one is how much? Four. And L value is six. In this. way we have to find the cost of this graph okay in next example i am going to clear this one okay you are pure finding difficulty please write on this pause the video and try to understand now Problem is going to give like this. Find the minimum cost path using forward approach. They will give one graph. Okay, in this graph, now they will give the problem. Like this, one graph will going to give directed and weighted graph. So the next step is what? Apply the stages for given graph. <coughs> I already told. Same graph. Just draw the lines like this. K one, K two, K three, K four, K five. <coughs> what is the meaning of K here? K is nothing but stage what k is nothing but stage 
so k stage is 1 k stage is 2 k stage is 3 k stage is 4 k stage is 5 like this we have to assume the stages next one is <coughs> which approach it is forward approach which approach forward approach here source vertex is what 1 and destination vertex is 7 so I already told in which direction we have to calculate in this direction we are we have to calculate the path ok so let's see what will happen this is a graph ok already we have marked the stages 1 2 3 4 and 5 so in which direction we have to calculate this one is a forward approach so this direction we are calculated so first which stage we have to calculate this one is stage number how much 5 so write down this in your own book k stage is 5 4 3 2 and 1 don't confuse this one this one huh? this is vertex number this one is stage number vertex number stage number vertex number stage number ok now stage 5 first we have to calculate the stage 5 Hmm. Now C up I comma J. I comma J. I is what stage number. J is what vertex name. What I repeat? J is vertex name. I is stage number. Okay. stage is how much 5 so I am going to write stage 5 in stage 5 what is the vertex vertex name is 7 so 5 comma 7 is equal to how much 0 because it's always 0 there is so like this previous graph look like this Hmm, this is the last stage, five, so, um, pip stage. There is no out degree. There is no out degree means always it is zero. So try to understand this. Stage five in forward approach. Cast is zero. Now I repeat, five is a stage number. Seven is a vertex name. Okay, so what is the cast of stage number 5 5 comma 7 cast is 0 now we will move to stage number 4 5 already calculated this 5 already calculated cast is C of fifth stage vertex number 7 cast is how much 0 we have already calculated in previous slide now next task is move from this place to this so stage how much stage is equal to 4 in stage 4 first identify how many vertices two vertices are there one is 5 another one is 6 so apply the formula who are not understanding the previous formula try to understand here <coughs> K 
first half c i comma j is equal to minimum c of j comma l plus cost plus 1 comma l now i in place of i what should i write i i value is what how much i value is nothing but k value k value is how much 4 so i have to write 4 and what about j j is what vertex this one is stage j is vertex name vertex name is what 5 so i have to write vertex 5 is that clear now we'll get i value and j value is it clear now see here see a 4 comma 5 minimum minimum c write down c inside what should i write j value j value is what pio l value is what what i told that is outer degree of this vertex j i that is j is connected to next node j is what here 5 j is what here 6 2 j's are there we have to calculate separately first take this j value pi u comma vertex name is not like that ok j you have written pi u connected to which vertex outer degree of this vertex connected to here 7 so we have to write 7 I hope it is clear what should I write here cast up j value we have to write 5 l value is 5 is connected to 7 so this is called your l value outer degree of this vertex or vertex connected to next node this pi u vertex is connected to node or vertex 7 so 7 i am going to write next plus cost of i plus 1 what is the i value here 4 what do i have to write here i value is pi u i value is what pi u pi u l value is what already have find 7 ok In this way you have to calculate the past now see here minimum c j value is pi u means vertex l is pi u is connected to which vertex pi u is connected to 7 vertex so 7 plus cost of i plus 1 i is 4 stage increase the 1 step that is 5 then l is 7 already calculated 7 ok now how to get the value this is very important how to get the value cost of pi u to 7 we have to point don't confuse c of pi u comma 7 cost of pi u comma 7 both are same numbers but values are different see pi u to 7 cost is how much 1 
so 1 I am writing here then what about this value cost by u comma 7 in previous slide we have already calculated cost of by u comma 7 how much 0 this value we have to write here so cost of this 0 c of pi u to 7 cost is 1 so 1 this value is 1 this value is 0 1 plus 0 is how much now see cost of pi comma 7 already we have calculated in previous exam previous stage that is the answer so 0 1 plus 0 is how much 1 so our answer is cost of 4 comma 5 is equal to 1 plus 0 how much 1 this is cost okay and in fourth stage we have calculated one vertex that is in fourth stage we have calculated one vertex that is fifth one what about this x six this also we have to calculate now six one now see in stage four another vertex is there i already told so we have calculated fifth vertex now we have to calculate six vertex so i am going to write here stage fourth vertex number six six minimum c of j comma l plus cost i plus one comma l repeat the same formula now substitute the values that's it so minimum here what i have to write j now before i'll write here j value is how much see j value is how much six comma l value is what l value what i told what x six is connected to which node 6 is connected to which node? 7 node. So just write 7. Then next one is plus cost of i plus 1. i value is what? 4. 4 plus 1 how much? Pi o then the L value is how much? 7. So write down here. Okay. Now how to take this value? Vertex 6 connected to 7. Then what is the cost? See here in graph 6 to 7 what is the cost? 3. Just write here 3. And what about this? Cost of Pi comma seven already calculated first stage. Okay, what is the value? Zero. Three plus zero how much? Three. This is the answer for this vertex. See here. I'll show it to you. Six comma seven plus cost four plus one seven six to seven. So six to seven cost is how much? Three pi comma seven previous value that is zero. See here, see up pi comma seven previous value is zero. Okay. Now minimum three plus zero how much? Three.
cost up four comma six is how much three so this is your answer okay now in stage three after we have calculated this one stage 5 calculated stage 4 calculated now we'll calculate stage 3 in stage 3 how many vertex vertices only one vertex that is vertex 4 only one vertex is there na? so 4 so in this stage one vertex is there that is 4 how to calculate this write on this C up 3 comma 4 I mean this is I and this one is J value I and J value at stage 3 what x4 is connected to what x5 and to what x6 so we have to calculate both the values and find the minimum path now what should I write here? Cost. Here, anyone, anyone answer this? Three comma three i third stage. What is the vertex? Four. Just we have to write like this. Now, formula. How to use? J value is how much? Four. Four. Next, L value. What should I write? L. L. Four is connected to which vertex? Five. So that I have to write. Four comma five plus cast of this. Okay. Cast um, plus cast up. I plus one. I have to write here, na? I is what? 3. 3 plus 1 is how much? 4. Then what is the L value? 5. Don't confuse. Sir, this one is 4 comma pi and this one is also 4 comma pi. It's 4 comma 5 already calculated in fourth stage. That is answer we have to write. 4 comma 5 is what is the cost of cost from 4 to 5 cost is 2 here we have to write this one is previous value and one more note is observe here same node or vertex 4 is connected to 5 and also connected to 6 that we have to write here the 4 node connected to Six also plus because two paths will come now two paths are coming one is two another one is nine so we have to calculate these individually and choose the minimum one so here what should I write here cost of four then L value is what six Okay, I hope it's clear. Now, CR again. Again, I am going to tell 3 of comma 4 minimum 4 comma pi. 4 is vertex name. L is, 4, L is connected to which vertex? 4 is connected to 5 vertex plus cast up i plus 1 i value is 3 plus 1 is 4 so l value is 5 ok comma 4 is also connected to node 6 so 4 comma 6 
4 is a vertex that is J 6 is connected vertex plus cast up 4 comma 6 again I am telling don't confuse C up 4 comma 5 and cost of 4 comma 5 these values are same but their cost are different okay cost from what x 4 to 5 cost from what x 4 to 5 how much 2 then cost of 4 comma 5 is previously we have calculated 1 Similarly, 4 to 6, what is 4 to 6, how much? 9. 9, we have to write. Then what about this cast? 4, 6. See in your previous slide, for cast of 4, 6, we have already calculated. That is 4, 6 is equal to 3. This value we have to substitute. 2 plus 4 comma pi o how much 1 comma this is 9 plus 3 9 plus 3 now 2 plus 1 is how much 3 9 plus 3 is how much 12 which one is which one is minimum here which one is minimum 3 we have to choose this value from cost 3 comma 4 that is your answer minimum value is 3 3 comma 4 is how much 3 ok now stage 5 is completed stage 4 is completed and stage 3 is completed remaining stage is what 2 we have to calculate stage 2 in stage 2 in stage 2 what is the uh, how many values stage how many vertices 2 vertices 2 and 3 see here at stage 2 there are two vertices are connected to only one vertex that is 4 ok both vertices are pointing to only one vertex that is 4 so C up C up stage 2 vertex name 2 is equal to minimum of and also in stage 2 another vertex is there 3 is connected to 4 see so here 2 comma 3 both mm, here two values we have to calculate one is c of 2 comma i mean stage 2 2 2 and stage 2 2 3 2 2 3 now apply this formula cast 2 comma 4 plus cast up 3 comma 4 2 to 4 is what 2 to 4 cast up 2 to 4 is 6 okay cast 2 to 4 is 6 this you have to write here and cast 3 to 4 what is the answer 3 means third stage third stage we have already calculated see the answer 3 comma 4 that is 3 6 plus 3 is how much 9 answer you got 2 2 2 another one is third vertex connected to 4 so calculate here 3 cast 3 to 4 
plus cast 3 comma 4 don't confuse 3 4 3 4 this is third stage this is cast of the graph 3 to 4 3 to 4 how much 3 this 3 we have to write here cast of 3 4 previously we have calculated the third stage fourth vertex that is answer is how much this answer is 3 plus previous values this answer is 3 how much 3 plus 3 6 this answer is 6 okay this answer is 2 2 2 how much 9 6 plus 3 is 9 eh? 2 2 3 how much 6 so in stage 2 which in stage 2 we have calculated two values one is 9 another one is 6 in the, among these we have to choose minimum value that is in second stage 6 is minimum so we have to choose minimum value 2 comma 3 is 6 now in stage number 1 last stage stage number 1 how to connect 1 is connected to 2 and 1 is connected to 3 similar same uh, uh, last stage we have uh, calculated na? same here C up 1 comma 1 first stage vertex number 1 apply the formula J value is 1 and one j is connected to which vertex two vertex j is connected to which vertex two vertex plus cast up two comma two and one to two what is the cast four and cast up two to two previous value means second stage we have just now we have calculated and uh, vertex 1 is also connected to 3 here we have to write cast 1 to 3 plus cast up next stage first stage here we have to write 2 then L value is 3 so 3 1 to 3 how much 5 this one is previous value now see the answer cast 2 to 2 is how much? 9. Substitute here 9. 4 plus 9. And cast up this 2 to 3. How much? 6. Previously we have calculated. Na? So here 5 plus 6. 4 plus 9. 13. 5 plus 6. 11. Which one is? You have to choose minimum value. 13 or 11. So 11. This is a uh, our final answer 11 okay 1 comma 1 is how much 11 now I hope you have understood the next step is you have to write whatever you have calculated uh, choose the minimum one cast up 1 comma 1 that is 11 eh? 2 2 3 one two three four five these are our stages these are our vertex number because we have to write a path so that's why we have to write like this this is understanding purpose not compulsory one to one first stage first vertex second stage third vertex third stage fourth vertex fourth stage fifth vertex fifth stage seventh vertex so cast to write 11 16 13 and finally you have to draw a path like this already noted na? just draw the path like this 1 2 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 and 5 to 7 this is your final answer see here they have given a graph like this you have find the minimum cost in previous slide you have written uh, 
वन टू थ्री थ्री टू फोर फोर टू फाइव फाइव टू सेवन कास्ट इज हाउ मच कास्ट इज लेवन यू गॉट द आंसर वन कमा वन इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच लेवन यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड ना एट द लास्ट स्टेज आई मीन फर्स्ट एट द स्टेज नंबर फाइव काउंट हियर फाइव प्लस थ्री फाइव प्लस थ्री एट एट प्लस टू टेन टेन प्लस वन इज लेवन सो दिस इज मल्टी स्टेज ग्राफ यूजिंग पारोड अप्रोच ओके नाउ अलगारिदम इज दैट सो अलगारिदम इज वेरी सिंपल डू नॉट कन्फ्यूज विथ दिस अलगारिदम सो दिस इज Uh, some algorithms they will going to write colon equal some algorithm they are using to write colon equal this is same to this symbol we have to use either this or this not mandatory to use like this colon equal this is instead they are uh, using this one now F stands for forward graph. G is a general graph. K is a stage. N is a vertices. P is a path. P means that just now we have written the same. The input is K stage. We just write in general. Input is a K stage graph. G V comma E with N vertices, and E is the set of edges. And cast C up I comma Z. I is a stage. J is a vertex. The cast I comma Z. P up one raised to k means path. Minimum cast path. Here cast n equal to zero. Zero point zero is nothing but zero. Don't confuse. Cast up n means assume. Cast of five. I am going to write why five means stage is how much five. In the first uh, beginning only we have written cast of five comma seven. Five comma seven. How much we have written zero, na? So that's why we have to write last stage five go to zero. Then j is equal to what? n minus 1 to 1 because we are decreasing the what stages this is 5 wait uh, this is a 5 fifth stage fourth stage third stage second stage and first stage So that's why we have to write n minus one to one, and this one is nothing but same formula we have used now. So same they are applying here. R is nothing but L. Okay, don't confuse. R is nothing but L. So among you have calculated this one cost. D of J equal to R. Then last. Point is cast. Sorry, minimum cast path. Path choosing. We have choose path like this, na. This is a path. So one path up one means source vertex one and path up k. That is n what? Sorry, n stage. That is values uh, vertex vertices value. What x value is five? Total five. What is our there? Na so uh, five stages. So n value is five. From one to five stage, meaning j go to two to k minus one because first and last we have to not considering because directly we are approaching that uh, in, in that example I told detail. I have told, but here 
we just skip these two steps okay and this is regarding about multi stage graph using forward approach okay so if you have any doubts ask me and thank you